What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rashid. I am sitting at home in my home office. Um, as some of you know, I live in Miami and I live in Arizona. Um, and in Arizona, my office is in my, in my house. And I uh, was doing some work and doing some research. And I was referring back to a book for my research instead of Google for once. It's because this book I've gotten a wealth of information from. I mean, it's, it's unreal. I just wanted to share the book with you guys and also this awesome partnership that I have going on with Audible. So I teamed up with Audible and they're letting everyone watching this video, all of y'all, you, you and you, um, a free 30 day trial to use Audible. Audible has an unreal selection of audio books, uh, shows, news, comedy, you name it. It's a ton of stuff on Audible. I've told y'all already, uh, nine times out of 10, you get in the car with me, I'm listening to a book. You know, um, I just don't have time to sit down and read books nowadays, unless I'm on the toilet, <laughs> you know, but even then I'd rather listen. Um, it's just something new, it's refreshing to me. I can listen while I'm training. Uh, I can listen while I'm walking Floyd, walking my dog, while I'm straightening up around the house, you know, so audio books are a phenomenal uh, resource of getting that information in and making it time efficient. So all you gotta do to get the free 30 day trial is sign up at audible.com backslash haterproof because we're keeping it haterproof the entire 2017, 2017 till infinity. Okay, so once again, if you want that free 30 day trial, just go to audible.com backslash haterproof because Mike Rasheed and the whole Alpha Squad is keeping it haterproof all 2017. And you can begin just like that, it's easy. The book that I'm referring to that I went back to to get some information from is called Body Mind Mastery um, by a guy named Dan Millman. The first time I read the book, I read it. And then um, some years went by and I was thinking about it. I was like, yo, I need to go back to that book. So by this point, I was listening to books, uh, audio books. So I went ahead and downloaded it and um, from Audible. And man, it was just so refreshing. It's so refreshing. A lot of times, certain books, you know, you have 400, 500 pages of, of, of text, but maybe six pages of real meat, real information. This particular book, it's a ton of information. It's overwhelming. And it's like, I love that. Like, I'm a nonfiction reader, right? Because I just want to learn as much as I can. No knock to fiction novels. Like, it's, it's a huge benefit to that. But I like nonfiction because I want to... I want to absorb information to be able to use it to improve my life and improve my capabilities and whatnot. And um, so when you find a book, when I find a book that's full of information, that's not a lot of, you know, the uh, in a, what is it, the, the coyote and the roadrunner, when they start to run and they're just spinning their wheels before they go anywhere. I don't want that. I just want to go, you know, so these books, books like this, Body Mind Mastery, it's phenomenal. So it, it teaches you, it's kind of a, a, a book about sports and how to improve your athletic abilities. However, he takes a very mental approach. And if you really read the book, you really break it down, it, it, it benefits <clears throat> other facets of life outside of sports. Now I'm gonna say this as well. I used to tell people how, I always preached how what you do in a gym translate to what you do outside the gym. And I stopped, I'm, I'm done with that message because what you do in the gym, I would separate gym in real life. I would separate business in real life, but there's no separation when you really think about it. The more I thought about it and the deeper, as time goes on, the deeper I'm getting invested in all that I do, there's no separation. What you do in the gym is your life. What you do outside of the gym is your life. What you do uh, business wise is your life, it's all connected. So there's no separation in my mind, in my opinion, in my philosophy, there's no separation from sport and life, your athletics and life, your training and life. You are training, you know, um, what you do in one place where you spend your time at every day over and over and over. The things that you do, 
you you you're becoming used to to you becoming you're you're creating habits and patterns and that doesn't go away until you try to rewire your brain you know what i mean but that's that's a new perspective that i kind of have been taking a, a nice little spin on but body mind mastery it gives you it just breaks down how how mental everything is and we all know even with bodybuilding people talk about that mind mental mind body connection it's real and that's with everything um <clears throat> when i'm coaching my son with boxing i tell him or anybody like uh my buddy sean um he's in the, in the military he's a marine and he wants to start boxing I, and some of the advice that i gave him is watch i gave him certain fighters to watch i said watch how they fight right and when you're not doing nothing think about think about you doing these movements perfectly perfectly and i'm gonna tell y'all and it's backed up in this book that helps you just as much if not more than your actual physical practice because there's time that you could be practicing something the wrong way developing bad habits and that's not good so if you practicing in your mind if you're visualizing doing something the right way, perfect, you're going to see that translate into your actual physical uh, work. And that, that's not just with athletics. That's with anything. You know, um, the mind, the subconscious mind is so powerful, y'all. And this is something that I, no lie, that I've been fascinated with since, I'm not going to say high school, but at least since college. But it might have been in high school when, when I first was uh told about the subconscious and the conscious mind and how powerful the subconscious mind is the subconscious mind doesn't differentiate truth from false it, that that doesn't exist in that realm in the subconscious mind whatever is placed in there consciously it'll manifest it if somebody wants if a woman wants to be pregnant really bad and she's trying to get pregnant or whatever or she's lying to people saying she's pregnant enough her subconscious mind will believe that lie and this this happens there's data showing this happens she will start having prenatal symptoms without being pregnant you know um our our subconscious mind is so powerful now that's a different type of example but imagine using your subconscious mind for things that you really want to achieve in life or to when you really want to be a certain way in life and you're implanting that in your subconscious mind, it becomes who you are. It all starts here. It all starts in the mind. It's powerful. This is something that I can tell you guys, it may or may not make sense to you, but as you go through life, you'll see, because my way of figuring this stuff out is actually seeing it come to fruition, actually keeping my mind in a very positive uh, uh, mind state and not allowing these negative things to happen and only allowing po positive things to happen. Now, <clears throat> I've been through some really turbulent and truculent times. I, I've been in situations where it did not look good at all, at all. But I did not allow my mind to go into that depressed, what was me, man, this is it, it's over. I could not allow that. I was like, nah, that's, no, no, this is what's going to happen and things are going to be better. And I promise you guys, it happened. I am a direct manifestation of putting those positive thoughts in my subconscious mind and it becoming a reality. It happens. It happens all the time, all the time. Now, granted, when you put now, I'm going to be straight up with y'all. It's a lot more to it than just thinking you want to do something uh, or you want to uh, attract something and it just happening. It don't happen like that. You got to think it, put it in your mind, really, really believe it. But your actions has got to match what you're thinking about. Your actions got to match your dreams, your prayers, your goals, whatever it is. And nine times, no, 10 times out of 10 is going to come into fruition. There's always freak things that can happen out the blue. That's a given, but it doesn't happen often. You know what I mean? So this is real. This is real. Y'all should check out. Y'all always asking about the books that I read. Sometimes I'll screenshot and show y'all a book that I'm reading at the time. 
but this is a book, Body Mind Mastery, that this is one of my favorite books. And I don't talk about it a whole lot because I kind of wanted to keep that a secret. But I'm going to tell y'all, man, y'all like y'all shock me, man. Y'all give me so much life, so much energy, so much power when I meet you guys, especially at these expos and whatnot, that I owe it to y'all. I owe y'all all of the good shit that I'm consuming. I need to give it to y'all and share it with y'all. I know not everybody's going to grasp it. Not everybody's going to care about this video. Y'all want to see training and all of that stuff. And that's cool. I get it. But it's here. I'm putting it out there one day. Maybe next year, maybe two years from now. That's the beauty of YouTube and this stuff lives forever. One day you'll come across this video and like, hmm, I'm going to check this book out. And then it, it, is, it, it gives you something that you could really use. So Body Mind Mastery by Dan Millman. The links and everything is down in the description box. Y'all have a good day. I'm going to get back to work. Mm -hmm.